Hey, it's Ryan with this week's Mille Lacs Fishing Report. It's mid-June, water temps are in the mid-60s, and the bite is on. We'll get started with the muskie fishing. The bite has been pretty good overall out here this last week. I haven't been out myself over the last few days, but I've talked to a few people who have been and have done pretty well. I've been hearing of quite a few follows as well as fish being boated and some good ones too, stuff in the upper 40s, lower 50s. So there's definitely opportunities for trophies out here. There's definitely still fish in the bays. If I were gonna be going out over the next week, I would focus my efforts on weed lines in the bays, try to find the deepest cabbage that you can. And I would be either throwing topwaters or small bucktails. Now there's a variety of things that'll work this time of year. Another one of my favorites is glide baits but I would just pick whatever bait you have a lot of confidence in and I would work those areas early in the morning or later in the evening. Moving on to the walleye bite, the walleye bite has been excellent. We have had a lot of luck in my boat. We're getting our slot fish, we're limiting out on my trips. Um, I've been doing a lot of bass trips during the day and then just for a couple hours in the evening, we go get walleyes and we've been doing great on them. Uh, I've just been targeting the shallow rocks mainly. I've been keeping it close to shore. I haven't had to spend a lot of money on gas that way and haven't wasted much time driving around. I just go out to about eight to 12 feet of water, a bobber and a leech. I use my electronics, I find fish, I put the bobber and leech on them and I start catching fish until I can find a couple that fit in the slot. So if you're looking for eaters, there's definitely eaters in the shallows. There's also a lot of fish in that 19 and a half to 20 and a half inch range. But overall, we've been getting numbers, we've been getting our slots, we've been having a lot of fun with them. There's other bites going out on the lake as well. There's a good bite going out on the gravel. If you find that rock, or if you find the mud to gravel transition, I think last week I said rock to gravel, I meant mud to gravel transition. That's in about 28 to 30 feet of water. That's got great potential in June. June is one of the best times to be fishing that. There's a couple ways to do it. A guy can drive around and throw a bobber and a leech on fish when he marks them with his graph. That's something that's always worked great, the power corking. Another great way to do it is if you don't want to totally rely on your electronics, you can also just put down a spinner and a night crawler. A spinner and a crawler on that rock, on the mud to gravel transition is a great way to catch walleyes during the day out here. Just focus on, on that 28 to 30 feet of water use your electronics to find the transition and move around at a little over a mile an hour with a small gold spinner or a small chartreuse spinner and a night crawler you're bound to catch some walleyes out there after sorting through a few you should be able to get your slots if you're gonna go on the gravel in the evening I'd go right up on top of the gravel bar and I would focus my efforts on the tops especially if you can find some rocks that are on top of the gravel in that 24 to 26 foot range there's a lot of fish that move up in the evenings and I've been talking to some people who have been on some fantastic bites over the last few days for guys that want to go to the mud the mud bite has been excellent as well there's a fantastic evening bite going out there as well as a daytime bite during the day I would either pick a lindy rig and a jumbo leech with a long snell a nine foot snell and I would slowly creep along the edges in that 28 foot of water 26 28 foot of water range or I would also use my electronics and drive around and power cork fish wherever you can find a nice quantity of fish on the mud flats wherever you're marking them just put your bobber and leech there a couple three feet off the bottom you're going to catch some fish when you mark them in the evening find a point on the flat the points are always key inside turns can also be well sometimes you'll also find fish right up on top of the flats but typically what I like to do in the evening for the bobber bite is go find a point and set up. Cast out off the edge of the flat and let the wind bring your bobber and leech right up on top. It's just a money tactic for catching fish throughout the summer months. And lastly, the smallmouth. The smallmouth bite has been excellent out here. I'm still finding a few pre-spawn fish. I believe they're pre-spawn. Um, but for the most part, I would say we're over the hump on spawn. I would say we're definitely towards the tail end of spawn, and I'm definitely finding quite a few post-spawn fish out here. A lot of people talk about kind of a post-spawn lull on the smallmouth, but the spawn kind of takes place over a period of time, so it doesn't all happen at once. So what you're gonna find is fish that are immediately post-spawn, when it's smallmouth that are immediately post-spawn, a lot of times they feed really aggressively, and the 
first few days after they come off of the beds. And then they kind of take a lull or move out to deeper water, or I don't know really exactly what they do, but it seems like they kind of have a little bit of a lull after that before they get into their summer patterns. And I believe some of that is just simply that they're moving to different areas of the lake. But anyway, I wouldn't let that discourage you because we've been crushing them lately and it's not just bed fishing. The last few days, the last couple of days here, we've had some phenomenal bites not bed fishing. Ned rigs have been working excellent for us. We've had some Mixed luck on top waters, but top waters are always a key bait this time of year. I've been throwing the spy baits around a little bit. I've had some of my clients throwing spy baits, and we've had a day where we really did well on the spy baits, running them near the surface. But this time of year is uh, kind of, you can throw the kitchen sink at them at that immediate post spawn. You can catch them a number of ways, hair jigs, tubes, bottom dragging baits. It's just kind of pick, pick something that you're confident in and grind it out you'll probably catch some smallmouth on it. But when in doubt, always fall back on the Ned rig, drag it slow on the bottom. You'll surely catch fish that way. As far as areas to find the smallmouth right now, beds, I would try looking for deeper ones. You can find those in like seven to 15 feet of water. You need some good eyes to see them in 15 feet of water, but there's definitely gonna be beds in that depth range right now. If you're looking for post spawn fish, a lot of times you'll find them near the bedding areas. A Ned rig is a great way to catch those. Now, when looking for fish over the coming weeks, you're gonna start seeing them show up much better on rock structures. Boulders are gonna be a key thing out here. Big rock spines, uh, any nice transition of heavy rock to gravel, you're gonna find them. A lot of your key midsummer spots are gonna have those fish. 12 feet of water is always a good starting point when finding big smallmouth midsummer. So I would focus on that 12 foot of water range, give or take a little bit. Find the largest rock you can, you're gonna find smallies in those areas. Hopefully these tips help you out. I hope you have a great week of fishing. Good luck out there.